I'm going to cut the chase and tell you that this product is excellent. For those asking how can I make my triple monitor setup better, this might be the video for you. It is no secret on the channel that I have been a fan of Simlab for a very, very long time and their quad mount is no exception. Although some may consider it a superfluous addition, once you have it set up, you won't want to leave home without it. Well built, well designed, functional. This is a Simlab quad mount. For me, one of the most important parts of reviewing a rig or a piece of equipment that you have to set up is the build itself and the instructions included. What we'll do here is go through the build with the instructions side by side so you can follow along and you can see just how easy it is to set up. As you can see, we have a 320 millimeter length of aluminum profile and we're just slotting in some M18 nuts on the side and some M16 nuts in the front. Be careful of the orientation of the holes as instructed. Here we take the same length of aluminum profile and simply attach four corner brackets as instructed in the schematic. Be careful to orientate the holes the correct direction because this makes it easy to attach bolts on the corner and simply tighten them up using an Allen key set. I'll leave a an affiliate link to the ones that I use in the comment section below because I think they're excellent and they really make the build a lot easier. Next, we're just gonna set up two struts and add some T-nuts into the profile, put some end caps on and use a wooden mallet to put these on or something soft. If you use a, um, a hard hammer, you'll split the plastic and it won't look very good. This bit's nice and easy. We simply take the three bits that we've already constructed and connect them all together with some M8 nuts and some washers. Make sure you use the washers and make sure things are nicely balanced out and even across both sides. Use a tape measure to make sure it's nice and symmetrical. Next bit is simply a case of securing the visa mounting plate. Again, make sure this is nice and centralized and use a ruler to measure on both sides to make sure it's equal because that's going to dictate the position of your monitor. It's important. Here we're just building two further struts which will attach to our main monitor stand and form the footprint of our quad monitor construct. Pay careful attention again to the orientation of the T-nuts because this makes application a lot easier. This is the final step and involves securing two angled brackets which are going to act as the hinges to position our quad mount once it's in situ. Easy peasy again, just add in the nuts, make sure you put a washer in as well and simply tighten everything up. Now this bit isn't explicit in the instructions. If your monitor has a recess for the visa mount, you may need some spaces and they include these in. So these are M4 10 millimeter spaces and you'll need to add them in to secure the visa mounting plate correctly. Just a short intermission, I did purchase this quad monitor mount myself, but if you want to support the channel and you found value in this content, I will leave an affiliate link to Simlab down below in the description. Let's move on. So this is the quad mount all tightened up and attached to my existing triple monitor stand. Now what I would say is you're going to need to balance this, so you might need to loosen off some of these bolts and nuts and then re-tighten them, otherwise it can go on a little bit skew if, for lack of a better word. Another thing I would mention is you're gonna need two people. I did this with just me, and it was not pleasant. Arguably, some would describe it as a bad time. We will see that coming up shortly. Now, here's a pro tip for setting up this on your own. Don't have the mount like this at 45 degrees. Have it parallel to the floor. You'll see why in a second. Here we have the monitor stand roughly positioned at parallel to the floor and what I would recommend is removing the monitors around the triple monitor stand. Why? Because I almost put the monitor I'm attaching straight through the screens of one of them and that would have been, again, a bad time. Now what I'm doing here is just balancing the monitor on one shoulder and then gently applying the M4 screws that need to go through the back of the mounting plate. Here you can see I drop one but ultimately everything was satisfactory. So who is this for? Why would you need a quad monitor mount? If you're somebody like me who's into content creation, this is going to be absolutely brilliant for my workflow, making things a lot easier. It'll also prove its value when it comes to streaming, because you can monitor stream while you're racing. If you're a competitive racer, you can also use it for lap times, looking at things like standings, relatives, and position on track with, say, like a track map, and that will also be very, very useful. The last thing I need to discuss, and probably the most important, is how much does this cost? Going direct to Simlab's website, it is 87 Great British Pounds, which translates to 99 euros or 92 dollars. Looking at offerings from other simulator companies, I would say this is competitively priced and you're getting a very well-built quality product. Ultimately, very happy with this purchase and the quality product from Simlab, no qualms recommending it. If you found value in this content, please consider hitting that like button, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.
Bye for now.